Hey guys, RC here, episode five, and this is just a quick news brief. So I know we've restarted the save, right? So, but we're picking up at the same point, 2065. So the last club that we were at was Bala Town, and we re we resigned to restart. Uh, they've lost three games in a row and are in ninth place in the Premier League, and fellows, the man to who replaced me has been fired. Very sad. Very sad. Let's take a look. Yeah, second half of the table. Not only seven wins out of 20. Ow. And 12 losses. Ow. Let's take a quick look at them just to see if they had made any transfers this year. Ah, they got rid of Anthony Champion on a free. He was young and he was pretty good. I was, I was. Ugh, I don't know, man. That was. They did bring in. They actually spent money. They actually brought in a pretty expensive guy from H and W. Really pacey. A Twenty-two-year-old English winger. Not bad looking. Very good teamwork. That's uh, that's pretty pretty pricey though for Bala Town. And let's see, that was my last year. So, yeah, we had loaned them out. So, yeah, they've basically got the same team. Ah, anyway, just wanted to, to show that to you. Uh, looks like uh, Connus Key, Cardiff Met Uni, and Ian Dudno all on the sack race. Uh, but anyway, uh, you, you'll see. We'll talk about it when we come back. Our 14-game undefeated streak has ended. Maybe I'll get sacked, too. All right, we'll be back with uh, actual stuff in a minute. Okay, I've got a bone to pick with Bonnie Rig Rose. <laughs> so you remember they wouldn't let me go on my second coaching course because I might get, you know, they needed me around for training. All right, so here's the league table this season and I've still got a few games before I come back but I wanted to bring something to your attention so we lost to Sterling two to one right okay we won in the world in the Earn Brew Cup win win draw won in the third round win 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 we lost in the fourth round then we won in the Scottish Cup second round win 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 Scottish Cup third round, win, 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 loss. Now, we should have won this game. We outplayed them. We just couldn't find the net. We had more shots. We had more on target. We just didn't do our job, but we lost. But that's the first league loss on Boxing Day since August 8th. Four months, four and a half months without a league loss, okay? Keep that in mind here. Very disappointed about the loss. And in matches, we're only a C. Only a C. I'm really, really disappointed in that. Now fans, fans are fickle. I can get that, you know, but the board, to be a C, just average. I mean, granted, granted, in fairness, we are expected to win promotion by winning the league. But even with a loss, we're five points up on Cove Rangers and a game in hand. Hello? <laughs> well, you know what? I tell you what. Just because, because I hadn't played... Since last episode, I'm recording all these matches today. Um, so we had last played Peter's Head and Clackmacudden. So we've got a win over Gala Faradine, Bobby Brindle, Adam Murphy, Andy Baxter with a three-minute brace. 2 nothing win over Montrose. Brindle and Murphy found the goal again. Cove Rangers, Joshua McGregor, our center back, had a thundering header off the corner. 
and then we had the one nil loss. Kind of disappointed in that. So we're starting off January, so it's a good place to come back. So we're going to play Four Martin and Four Martin and Edinburgh University today, and then we'll come back for uh, we'll come right back for Sterling and Dunfermline Dunfermline Athletic. Hopefully, I'm even close to the right pronunciations. Dumferline. All right. So we are on the road wearing yellow kits. I like those. No stripes. I like that even more. Uh, we are heavily favored, uh, but I'm going to still use our away tactic. All right. We're going to go with Johnson and Gold, Gibson, Sainsbury at the back, Wings, Avernell, McGregor in the middle, Brendel and Ray Devaney on the wings, McKenzie, Beatty in the central mid, MacArthur and Murphy up top. Let's get to it. Oh, man. All right. Let's go, boys. Encourage the team. Morale is not, honestly, is not what I would have expected at all. All right, there's a header for Joshua McGregor. The center back puts another one in the net. Ray Devaney with the assist. McGregor's fifth of the season puts us up 1-0 in the 11th minute. Liking that. I'm trying to turn my ringer off, but that button is worn out. And it's not cooperating. There it goes, I think. All right, let's see. Johnson plays it out. Right back to him. Lumped out to the side. Oh, good ball right up the line. Brendel cuts inside, plays it ahead for MacArthur, and he puts it right into Walker's chest. I expected a little better job there. Oh, good poke away by Sainsbury. Ray Devaney's on it. Oh, and he's taken down hard. That's going to be a card. No? No. Oh, yes. Okay. No, that was my guy that got a card. Holy crap. All right. McKenzie runs it down. We reset from the midfield. And he loses it. Sainsbury gets picked. Murray's on the break into the box. Knocked away by Johnson. They will get a corner, which I am dreading. Good header away. McOsland. Back into the box, and it'll be a goal kick. Anytime it goes through the box like that, I'm always looking for the penalty spot, you know? All right, let's tell him to get creative. Gibson lumps it down the line. Brindle, nice run into the touch. It's a cross. Oh, Ray Devaney, what a beautiful header down to the far post. Just goes inside for his fifth goal of the season. Good cross by Brindle, but that was one hell of a header by Daniel Ray Devaney. Look at that. Oh, right across the keeper. Beautiful. 2-0, heading into halftime. They've actually outplayed us a little bit. We've had more possession, but we're doing really well. Uh, appreciate the efforts. Watch your step, please. All right, we got a 6-6 six, six at left back. A couple of 6-6s six, on the back line. Oh, it, oh, my God, Ray Devaney should have put that one in. Unlucky bounce right off a defender. He had a pretty much an empty netter to put that away. Oh, he's off sides. Okay, good job. Didn't play it to him. Oh, no, no. Played short. Laid back. Interesting. Oh, Brendel picks the pocket. Oh, uh, look at the one-two touch. MacArthur's on the breakaway. Oh, and he goes wide. He has been cold lately, the youngster. He's only playing a 6-5 today. You know what? I'm going to take him off. Let's put... Um, Let's give let's give McFarland a go. I believe he's another young player. Yeah, he's 20. So let's give him a go. Uh defensive, we can move him back to, well, 
mid center. Yeah, let's do that. Bring on Daglish. Yeah, I like his passing. He's got pace. Got to have a little flexibility at this level where you can move guys around a little bit. Oh, what a save, but it drops right to McGrandles, and he puts in his first goal. Ugh. All right, uh, demand more. All right, Ray Devaney up top. There's a header. Kenny Avenel, second goal of the season. Ray Devaney with another assist. We actually have a shot, a very good shot, because we're only three wins away from equaling the club record for wins in a single season. So that's pretty exciting. All right, Sainsbury's complacent. We're going to get him off with our last sub. A couple of minutes early, but... And we're going to praise him here. McGregor gets a little overwhelmed. Oh, boy, we might need that goal here, huh? Oh, my God, and Brindle just, like, backstabs him in the box. Boy, that goal's going to be huge now. Oh, what a save by Johnson. Great job. Had no doubt. No doubt. Headed out. McFarland flicks it on. Gets us out of danger for a minute. Stoppage time. Oh, we might be able to poach another one here real quick. Ransom deep into the box. McFarland! And it's... It's pinged around a little bit. Adam Murphy gets a nut toe on it. Fourth goal of the season, and we are up 4-1. That was a late, late goal. Very unlucky on their part. But we'll take it. We will take it. All right, we do appreciate the effort, so let's go passionate. Get a little bit of green there. And we'll be back in a couple of days for, um, who was that, Enberg? Quality of possession, Ray Devaney, a goal and two assists. Very good. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're playing Edinburgh University. We are pretty serious favorites. Gusty wind. Always don't like playing in wind. But we're going to move from our away tactic to our home tactic. Pretty much the same. Dial up the, the attacking a little bit more and uh, go from there. Pretty much the same lineup. In fact, I think it's the exact same lineup. Taking a quick look at MacArthur, 13 and 16 uh, in the league. Still can't believe he's scoring that many. Oh, we did make a transfer move uh, here in the window. Uh, he is not accepted yet. The team accepted the deal. Um, but uh, Dan Unwin, from uh, Exeter City is a center back, right back, and uh, very good teamwork, tackling, solid marking, heading, pace is outstanding, jumping reach. He would make a really good center back for us. Uh, he is loan listed, uh, wanted by a couple of teams, including us. And uh, so we've, uh, I don't know, I think we're going to lose out on him. Rockdale, Stevenage, I think he's going to go elsewhere, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get back to our roster here. Yeah, I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and get to this match. What a run, man. I have not had a run like this in a long time. FM 18, maybe. Uh, pick up where you left off. All right. Early, early minutes. We've already got two shots. We are in the red striped outfits, and you know how I feel about those. That's okay. I don't pick teams based on their kits. Maybe I should start doing that. We'll do, you know, it'll be the kit saves. <laughs> oh, taken down in the box. There's a penalty. Ray Devaney goes down. Who's going to take it? It's going to be Sainsbury, our right back. Uh, right down the middle with a little stutter step. And he puts it in for his third. I think all three of his has been penalties this year. So crazy that he's our best penalty taker. <laughs> that is hilarious. 
All right, we're going to give him some praise early early days. All right, Sainsbury's going to lump this one in the box because that's how he rolls. Ray Devaney is there, controls it. Oh, he bounces it off the woodwork, and it just sits there so tantalizing on the line. The keeper's got enough time to recover because nobody was offsides. Of course, the goal wouldn't have counted. Come on, boys. All right, Gibson lumps it into the box, headed down. Oh, my God, the keeper got a hand on it, and it went off the woodwork again, straight up in the air. Oh, lucky bounce. All right, Brindle. Brindle's on the run. He's got a man up front. Can he find him? Lay it in. Lay it in. No, he's greedy and takes the shot. Show some passion. Uh-oh, Ray Devaney's frustrated. Sainsbury fires. And it bounces around. We cannot get a shot off. All right, halftime. Oh, boy. All right, encourage the team. All right, let's see. Six, seven, six, six, a six, couple of six fives. We need to see an improvement. Uh, let's demand more. All right, Ray Devaney. I hate taking him off, but, you know, we really... All right, let's see. Mid-left, crossing, passing, technique. He's got better passing, so I'm going to move him there. Can McKenzie? No, he can't play outside. All right, that's the move we're going to make there. And Jim Gibson. You know what? I'm going to bring Rance. Uh, oh, wait, he plays left. Never mind. Do I have anybody else that can play left? I do not. Not in this lineup. Damn. Because you'd be the guy I'd like to take out, eh? All right. Brindle on the left side. Let's bring Baxter on. We'll replace both wingers. That's a lot of time wasting to figure out a move. All right. Baxter. Nice ball in. Offsides. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, my God. Boo. We're going to get FM'd here, aren't we? We are going to get FM'd here. Uh, I'm going to demand more. All right. Gibson into the box. Daglish. Super sub. His fifth of the. Wait a minute. I thought they gave it to Daglish. What the hell? Adam Murphy, fifth goal of the season. I thought it said Daglish at the top. Nope, it was definitely Murphy. Right outside the six. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Sainsbury, let's give you a rest. Jody Ransom. May have to give Ransom a start. I really can't afford for any of these guys to be done in. Oh, that was tantalizingly close. Nice header. Good effort, but we've broken it open. 2-0. Of course, we're, we're very capable of giving up one right there. He had to have been offsides. Thank you. I think the keeper let him go just because. He goes, I'm not going to run into the guy when I know it's not going to count. Uh complacent concentrate all right well we got them back to compose but a couple of people overwhelmed and we get a two nil clean sheet four chances two goals i guess that's good 11 on target only four chances not great but we are 11 up but one extra match played now 
Uh, I am going to be assertive. You played well. Don't get complacent. Let's go with that one. And hello. There we are. All right, Ransom, Mackie Stevens. All right, so we come back from the loss with back-to-back -back wins, 6-1 to one, accumulative scoring, aggregate scoring. I'm going to use the right terminology there, damn it. We're plus 37 on goal differential. If we take a look here at the stages, we've scored 45. We've only given up 8. We are really playing lights out. Lights out. So uh, really enjoying this. I don't know if Bonnie Rig Rose is enjoying this. Uh, what was really cool, and I found it funny, because I always tag when I put up a tweet update, which isn't every day, but uh, I do tag the club. Um, Ballatown retweeted my tweet every time, 100% of the time. Uh, Bonnie Rig hasn't even acknowledged my existence, which is fine. I mean, you know, only about 10 of you guys know I exist anyway, so which is okay. I just, you know, I found that not, that was one of the great things with Bala Town. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'm loving, I'm loving the time. And I like doing these smaller clubs because, as I said, I'm an American, okay? I love the game, but I'm, you know, I'm very knowledgeable. I was a FIFA licensed official uh, in the States, uh, lower levels up through high school. Uh, I don't know what you call it in, in Europe, but, uh, right before you would go off to university. I was able to do up to those levels as center official. Um, and I played, I played for about 13 years uh, up through the youth ranks, um, won two state championships in high school, won three district championships. Um, so, you know, had some success and, uh, but you know, my knowledge outside is limited to basically World Cup, Olympics, um, Champions League, and my team is Leeds. I know a lot about Leeds, but even Leeds, I wasn't even able to watch until just a couple of years ago when ESPN picked up the rights because we can watch Premier League here and Champions League, but we can't watch Champions League. Nobody owns the rights until ESPN picked them up. So I've never been able to follow the club you know, directly, you know, everything's looking at scores online and it's hard to be passionate against a sheet of paper. But, you know, my wife will tell you, you know, two years, three years into watching leads on, you know, on ESPN plus, um, I'm just as passionate about them as I am about my favorite college football team. Um, I'm not going to say more so, but, you know, but it's right up there. And that's a team I've been pulling for for over 40 years and watching on television for over 40 years. Um, so I know, you know, all the players and I follow them on social media and, you know, try to keep tabs on what they're doing. Um, so, but a lot of these lower teams, I don't know anything about them. You know, I'm not exposed to them. You know, they're not covered in our media, you know, and, and rightfully so, because you guys probably don't cover a lot of stuff in Europe that, that we cover here, uh, any of our clubs. But, you know, that's why I like doing these because I'm able to learn a little bit about areas and clubs and hopefully get feedback from fans that find the channel and, you know, can tell me a little bit firsthand information. And, you know, that's how I learn. So I enjoy the heck out of it. But anyway, digressing. Let's move on. We're going to come back. Uh, I think, yeah, we haven't played Sterling. They are last in the table, but we just played Gala recently. So yeah, Sterling Albion, that's one of our two league defeats. We'd like to come back and maybe avenge that. Dumferline Athletic in the Scottish Cup fourth round. We'll play that one. And we were only expected to reach the third round, so they're very happy. Uh, Dumferline, where are they at? They're in the Premiership. All right. No, that's not what I want. I want that. And they're actually last. But that's three levels. They're in the same league with Ross County. So Ross County, one, two, three. So they're three levels above us. They should probably win, right? Just thinking. All right. 
We'll be back next episode. Please hit that like button. Consider hitting the subscribe button if you don't mind. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.